and good morning. Um, since we started doing these devotionals almost three months ago now, um, I have been looking forward to being able to do them out of doors. Um, but it's taken a long time. I expected to be able to do outdoor devotionals in, well, first of May at latest, if not April, but and every time I thought about it, I'd look outside and it was uh, cold and rainy. And so finally, here we are. Uh, it's looking like summer is coming. And, uh, and just, just in time for, for Memorial Day. And so, um, as we begin uh, with Scripture on this Memorial Day, uh, I've been reading, uh, as a part of my regular diet, baby daily Bible reading uh, through 1 Samuel uh, this week. And so that's really where I wanted to ask you to turn with me to. And we're going to look at 1 Samuel chapter 7 this morning. And I turn here because uh, to me it is a, a very appropriate Memorial Day text or passage uh, reminding us of how important it is for us to remember. So uh, we're going to do our reading from 1 Samuel chapter 7. And let's begin in verse 5. Uh, no, let, let's start with verse 2 just to give you some background. It says, Time went back by until 20 years has passed since the ark was taken to Kerith Jerim. The whole house of Israel began to seek the Lord. And Samuel told them, If you're returning to the Lord with all of your heart, and get rid of your foreign gods and your Ashtaroths uh, that are among you, and dedicate yourself to the Lord and worship only Him, then He will rescue you from the hands of the Philistines. So the Israelites removed the Baals and Ashtaroths and only worshiped the Lord. And Samuel said, Gather all Israel at Mitzvah, and I will pray to the Lord on your behalf. When they gathered at Mitzvah, they drew water and poured it out in the Lord's presence. They fasted that day, and there they confessed, We have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged Israel at Mitzvah. When the Philistines heard that the Israelites had gathered at Mitzvah, the rulers marched up towards Israel. And when the Israelites heard about it, they were afraid because of the Philistines. And the Israelites said to Samuel, Don't stop crying out to the Lord your God, our God, for us, that he may save us from the hands of the Philistines. Then Samuel took a young lamb and offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. And he cried out to the Lord on behalf of Israel. And the Lord answered him. And Samuel was offering the burnt offerings as the Philistines drew near to fight against Israel. And the Lord thundered loudly against the Philistines that day and threw them into such a confusion that they fled before Israel. And then the men of Israel charged out of Mitzvah, pursued the Philistines, striking them down all the way to the place called beth -car. Afterwards, Samuel took a stone and he set it upright between Mitzvah and Shin, and he named it Ebenezer, explaining, The Lord has helped us to this point. And so the Philistines were subdued and did not invade Israel's territory again. Now, I suggest that that's a, a wonderful Memorial Day passage because in it, uh, Samuel sets up a, a memorial stone, a place to remember. And what they're remembering is in this case is how the Lord had protected and helped them to that day. See, memorials are important uh, to us. Remembering is important. It's not just important to the past, it's important for the future as well. We need to remember how we have been helped, how we have been protected, how we've gotten where we are. As a nation, it's important that that we remember uh, that this nation was founded on, on the principles of God's Word, on uh, freedom of expression of our faith, uh, on 
the promises um, of salvation in Jesus Christ. It, it was founded as a Christian nation. And we remember that and we're to be thankful. Even though maybe many around us don't remember that or won't remember that, uh, we should. We also should remember um, those who have given their lives to uh, protect this freedom and secure it for us. And so this Memorial Day has been established as a national holiday and we're, we're grateful for that. Um, even if it wasn't a national holiday, we should remember it. Uh, we should remember those who have given so much that we would in, enjoy these freedoms. And so on this day, um, my hope is that you're not just having a, a barbecue or a picnic in the backyard, but that you are taking time uh, to thank the Lord for uh, for those who have given their lives for us, to, uh, to thank those who have served in our nation's military to keep us safe. Uh, we are thankful for them. And as we remember um, those great battlefields, uh, those great sacrifices that were made by uh, many on our behalf, of course, we, we also need to remember the fact that uh, 2,000 years ago, on the greatest battlefield we could ever imagine, victory was won for us uh, through the Lord Jesus Christ. He laid down his life that we would have life. And so we remember that as well on this Memorial Day, a time for remembering. And so let us, let us join our, our hearts together in prayer, in a prayer of thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, we come thanking you for your goodness to us. In so many ways, you have blessed our lives. And Lord, as we have awakened this new day, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for sustaining our lives and, and for giving us sleep and for waking us on a new day. And in this day, we begin by remembering. We, re we remember thankfully uh, those who have uh, purchased our freedoms here on earth, in this nation, through their sacrifice, through their efforts to secure peace for our nation. Well, we're thankful for our, our military. We're thankful for, um, for all that they've done through the years uh, to give us uh, this, this freedom for the many who gave their lives in, in battle and in wars and foreign fields far away. Uh, Lord, we're, we're thankful for them. We remember them today. We ask, Lord, your blessing on their families, uh, those that, that continue to grieve. Lord, we pray that you give them peace and, and assurance of your presence and of your love. Lord, we're also thankful on this morning for the great sacrifice that that Jesus gave on our behalf. Lord, that he entered the battlefield for our souls, that he secured our spiritual life, and that he's given us the promise of eternal life uh, with you. And so, Lord, our hearts are full of gratitude this morning for the many things that you've done, for the ways that you have blessed us. And, Lord, we just ask your blessing on, on each one this day. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God richly bless you on this Memorial Day. May he encourage your heart in him. Have a wonderful day.